welcome back to the West Coast for episode 5 with me, Mr. Sealy P. So, the last silage bale is done. Up at Hillridge Farm. These will all be going uh, to EP up at Mountain View Farm. And all this equipment belongs to EP. So, We'll take this back. We are going to need some specialist equipment. Uh, I don't own um, a bale trailer, so we'll have to go down to the store and uh, buy a bale trailer. Very kindly, Joe at. Um, oh, behind me. That terrible. Little Woolhope Farm. <laughs> My mind went blank has lent me his tractor, he's got a stayer, it's got a bit more horsepower might be better for hauling bales, I'm not too sure, we'll see um, and uh, James down at Stonehill Farm has lent us the telehandler so we can use that for loading the bales onto the bale trailer this I'll take back first, then we'll head um, down to the store and uh, sort our bale trailer and whatever piece of equipment we're going to use for picking up the bales, I don't want to pierce the wrap so I suppose a wrapped bale handler, something like that, might work. But first, let's get this back. I'm trying to think the best way, it doesn't really matter actually. It's been a busy old week, I have to say. Um, I apologise for the, the lack of... The lack of work on Westbridge Hills. I'm trying to tie up loose ends uh, on Bluebell Island so I can spend more of my time on the mainland here. And as I said on my penultimate episode on the golden days of farming, there may even be some overseas trips to South America. Who knows? Um, so things, they are a-changing. I will get this back. Oh, traffic doesn't seem too bad at the moment. Fantastic. Um, yeah, anyway, so, yeah, get this bell sorted out. Let's get some feed sorted out for the cows. Um, then we'll gradually kind of work our way around. I might do a bit of contracting. I do need to get the money up a little bit. And I think a spot of contracting here and there will certainly do us good. And if any of you um, watched my Westbridge Hills Let's Play a little while back, um, well, any of my Let's Plays, I'll be totally honest with you, I do become a little bit addicted to um, contracts. Uh, fields that you can contract on, I have spent hours and hours on contracts and I make good money, don't get me wrong, but I kind of lose my entire life doing it, which is... Um, it's not unfortunate because I enjoy playing it. It's not like it's... A, it doesn't feel like a chore. And if you really want to go back a bit, not long after I started playing this, the first modded map that came out on Chellington when I was doing my Let's Play on Chellington on Christmas Eve, I think it was, last year, um, I decided to do a sugar beet harvest which took somewhere around five hours. I did do it in chunks, I kept kind of pausing the game and going away and doing things and coming back, but yes, it was um, an interesting one. And in the end, it didn't actually pay me as much as I thought it was going to, which was a bit of a, you know... We'll just say a sore point. My wife's a very understanding lady. Anyway, nearly there at Mountain View Farm. I'll drop off EP's tractor, which actually could probably do with a wash. Uh, I apologise, EP. We will sort that out at some point. I don't have a jet wash at the farm, actually. I will need to sort that. Hang on. This was this side, I believe. Not that it matters, I'm sure he'll, he'll be happy that it's returned. Not necessarily whereabouts it's put. There we go. These vouchers are interesting. They always look like they're leaning back slightly, don't they? Maybe it's just me. The perspective I was looking at it. Um, right, let's park this up just here. Now, I was thinking about... Because I was just in a big silage harvest on um, 
golden days of farming. About the... F about the... Uh, the forage harvester, which appears to be gone. Oh, you know what? EP's warnings about, you know, crime and vehicles going missing and that kind of thing was not unfounded. We appear to have had a theft. Blimey. Why can't I open it? Nope. This one open. There we go. Yeah, I'm not being dim here. It's not. It's not lurking around the corner somewhere. There is definitely no forage harvester in here. Right. Well, that's not good. That's going to need reporting to the police. This is effectively a crime scene. Uh, EP. I had nothing to do with it. I honestly. Um. That's not good. Right, off into town then, that's going to need reporting. Oh, actually, that's the point. I'm going to need another lift, aren't I? So long I'll walk back to town. Well, we've got to sort out those silage bells, whatever happens. We have to report the theft of the forage harvester. Hopefully something can be done about that. Or, as a group, we are going to have to come up with some serious funds to purchase another one. Not what I was hoping. Right, let's get down to the store. Right, just been to the local police station. It's all reported. And according to the local Bobby, um, there's been quite a few thefts recently around these parts. Not good. Anyway, we're at the store where we need to be. And the stayer is here. It was the Ceres, wasn't it? Terrace, not Ceres. And uh, James's telehandler. So we need a bail trailer. Let's get this sorted. Bail trailer. Bailing. Let's have a look, shall we? There's the standard fare. The usual. Oh, dooley. 23 foot. That might just fit the bill. 12,500. That's not bad at all. I think. Oh, we can change the colour as well. Whoa, okay. Oh, do I just leave it duly colours, or do I go... Ooh, it's a big decision. Um, you know what? I'll leave this then for Joe to use. We'll set up... We'll leave that standard. Rim colour, we'll go white. That'll match his stayer then. Krills or no krills? Add all krills? Uh, let's have all creels. Why not? 13,600. Right. Yes, we'll have it. I hope this looks alright now. Otherwise, <laughs> I should have left it in dooley colours. Oh, that's alright. That's not so bad. Where's the white? Did I not press white? I could have sworn I did. Anyway, oh, that'll do. Okay, right, that's that. Oh, the other thing we needed. We need to pick up those bales, don't we? Uh, we need a bale handler. Uh, oh, where's that going to be? Uh, oh, wheel loaders. Not wheel loaders, telehandlers. Let's have a look. Ah. Hmm. Where's the one I was looking for? That's not good. Uh, front loaders? Oh, please tell me I can use it on a... See, I wanted to use that. No, that's a front loader, not a tele handler. Oh, that's frustrating. Right, I'm going to need a front loader. Never mind, I will. Shall I? Shall I? Yes, I will. I wanted to use it, so I'm going to need. Uh, will I buy it or lease it? Um, 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 I will. Oh, let's buy it. Why not? I'll probably need to use it for something else at some point. 
Right. Oh, that's a bit annoying. But definitely. I'll give it a try, you never know, but I don't think it'll go into the front loader. Sorry, James, I wasted your time. I need to get down there with the front loader now. I'm not sure I'm going to get all those bales on that trailer, you know. I thought I would. 23 foot, I thought, well, that's huge. But that actually isn't huge at all, is it? Oh, it does go on. Ah, that's all right. Cool, those colours that revolting together. But, how does this work? Obviously, that works like that. Uh. Hmm, I don't know. I've never used one before. How do I use it? Ah, there we go. Oh, that's alright. So that'll open up, clamp on. And then. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Never used one. That's a cool bit of kit. Right, let's get the trailer back up there. Sorry, I'm I'm just you know, having a look, just in enjoying something new. Don't come across that very often. I like that, Richie. Right. Uh, right. Hang on a second. Start that up. Let's go and pick up this trailer. Yeah, I must admit, I really thought... I think I was thinking of... Oh, no, you know what I was thinking of? Um, there's the Dooley 23 foot. And then there was the other one... What was the other Irish company? Oh, mine's gone blank. And it was a 32 foot. I've got the 32 foot and the 23 foot mixed up. Mind you, if I double stack them, I should be alright. That should be okay. Let's get those beacons on. Is there a beacon on the trailer? No, it's a nice looking trailer, though. I like that. I like the... Uh, Kind of that like laser etched, I assume it's laser etched, duly in the actual metal work. That's pretty cool. Anyway, not a mod review, let's crack on. Um, get this up to the farm, and uh, if you can hear that noise in the background, I do apologise. Um, it would appear that the farm dog is um, not very happy in the tractor, it appears to be whimpering somewhat. Right, let's get this up to the farm. And then I'll bring up the telehandler and we will get some bales loaded and get those up to EP's farm and probably await the police. I assume they'll send up a forensic team. Uh, unfortunately in, in the UK, um, and I don't want to I don't want to offend any forensic uh, you know people. Uh, <clears throat> but you know you see these CSI Miami and CSI New York and I don't think in the UK our CSIs are that kind of... it doesn't seem as cool, I don't think. Yes. Anyway. I pull up just offended a whole raft of people. They do a very, very good job, I imagine. Um, they work very, very hard. I'm not saying they don't. You know, and... Uh, yes. I'll stop talking now. I shall remove my large foot from my mouth. This has straps. Oh, it does have straps. That's good. Actually, I do quite like that. It looks like it's a bit kind of weathered or worn. Or anyway, right. Uh, telehandler. That's what we need next. I, oh, what I wouldn't give a follow me. Oh, right. I don't know what made me come through the yard actually, but I just yeah. Uh, not that it matters. We've still got to the same location as it transpires. I've, yeah. <laughs> Forgot how to use this already. So that was. What was it? Nope. There we go. Right, let's see how this works, shall we? Swing this over. Turn the beacon off. Don't need that one. Now I have used the um, 
Is it the Tanko veil grab thing before? This is something a little bit different. So that should go like that. Shouldn't that does that? That does that. Nice! Nice bit of kit. I like that. This mod, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is in a mod pack and it's by Peter J. Peter J did the uh, round bale trailer that I liked that I used on Golden Days of Farming right back in the early days. Right at the start. And I do, what I like about that is you can be quite precise about it. If I just open that arm, not that one. Oh, that's brilliant, isn't it? No, not that one. Oh, right, okay. That one. That should have been perfectly placed. Oh, man. That's why it's probably better off using it on a loader, isn't it? Yes. So the PlayStation controller is driving me around the twist. Right, let's try that again. And hopefully this won't get caught up this time. Actually, what I can do. I'll put it on that side. Right, let's try again, shall we? Back that up a bit. Lift that up. Ah, it's going to take a bit of getting used to. I think I'm, I'm definitely might need to use the. Uh, might have been better on a front loader. Hmm. I don't think I've got one here, but that's not a problem. If I line that up, don't know how easy this would be to do in cab either. Right, drop that down. Close that like that. Doesn't damage the wrap. Oh no. I thought this would actually work really well but it's not going to is it because that's going to now open out and hit the other bale. Ah oh, man. Okay. Well it was a good idea in theory. I wonder if I can drop it kind of from a little bit of a height. It's not going to work particularly well but I can try. Mm, bit of a roll. Not what I was hoping. But what I can do, if I close that, oh, I don't know. I don't know, it's all a bit, it's all a bit. It's not kind of going how I hoped it was going to. Anyway, not to worry. I wonder if I can give it a bit of a knock. Which doesn't always work particularly well. No, nope, because I just end up knocking the other bale completely on. Oh man, I'm making a right meal of this. Let's push that. Come on. Help me out here, will you? No. Nope. Of course not. Of course not. Why would you? Right. Let me just tidy these up. I'm sure I will get better at this. I'm sure. Oh. Blimey. What an absolute pig's ear I'm making of that. Gently does it. Hmm. Yeah, not sure how this is going to work out. Probably would have just been better off with a pair of bale spikes and just thought to myself, you know what? Doesn't matter if the wrap gets damaged, I'll just put them on. Well, that's two anyway. That's opened. That's up. Go to the next one. And so on and so forth. Yes, in my head I thought it was going to be, you know, super smooth, so it look brilliant. I would look awesome. My bale stacking abilities. However, it was not to be. Never mind. Never mind.
auto stackers, that's what we need. Like the PC ones. Have I got all the lights on? Yeah, probably. In my panic to press all the right buttons. Of course I probably put the lights on, why wouldn't I? Right, so I'm thinking maybe grabbing it a little bit higher might help in the future. Let's drop that down a little bit. Zoom in a little bit. Let's open it. Oh, come on! One goes on perfectly, the other one then moves. Ugh. Right, okay. <laughs> ah, you're probably watching this and just sc screaming at the screen and, you know. I did have a comment left, uh, a couple of comments left actually, after the last episode, um, suggesting that why would anybody want to watch bail wrapping, it's boring. Um, yeah, I, you know, I get it, it's, it's part of the, it's what needs to be done, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to shy away from the jobs that need doing. And yes, there were, admittedly no one wants to watch a whole episode of someone wrapping bales and that's why I did a kind of time lapse and then jump cut a little bit and that kind of thing. No one had to watch the whole thing. Whoa that moved. Um, but yeah I get it you know it's not everyone's cup of tea. What's just dawned on me as well is I've got to unload these at the other end and that's why I should have just leased an auto stacker shouldn't I? Any, any easier from inside. No way is this going to be easier from inside. Do, do, do. Let's see. Might as well give one a go. <coughs> when I realise what an absolute disaster it is, I won't bother. Do. It's very, very tricky. I said this uh, when I did my uh, tractor driving experience. When I was talking to the farmer, and he was asking me about this kind of thing, bale stacking, and you do that in game and that kind of thing. And I said you do, but I'll be honest with you, it's a lot easier in... Pfft. It's a lot easier in... Oh, don't do that. It's a lot easier in game, uh, in real life, because uh, you can, you've can you got more depth perception. In game it's really, really hard to get that depth perception right. I suppose I can still grab it and pick up like that. It's not kind of what I intended. It also means it's the wrong way around. Yeah, it's not like this at all, is it? Hmm. Right. Leave me to it for a little while. That, <laughs> that would have been perfect. I don't know, just made the right mess. There, right, stay there. Stay there, right. Oh, that would have been absolutely bang on. Right. Okay. I'm going to get on with this. And I shall fiddle around for a little while and try to make that stack a lot better. And get to grips with how to use this piece of machinery. Because at the moment I'm really not doing particularly well. That's better. Right, okay. I shall see you in a little while. Hopefully I have some more bales on here. Uh, and it won't be as much of a disaster. Let's see how we get on, shall we? I think they're a lot heavier in real life. And a lot more a sort of denser. When you drop them, they don't... I say they don't roll. I don't know. I've never actually done it. I would assume they probably do roll. Um, so, yeah. Ignore me. Talking rubbish again. I mean, there is a certain amount of manoeuvrability with this. I do, I do like that. I like the fact that again, it's something different, isn't it? It's a different piece of equipment, something to get get to grips with, and I just like the fact it was front on, not side on, like most of the wrapped uh, bale wrap, wrapped bale handlers. Yes. See you in a bit.
the last bale going on. It got better. I, it, you know, once I got the hang of it, it wasn't so bad. Now, I'm going to try something. I don't know if this is going to work. Um, i just released that. I don't know. If it let me. I'm thinking, if I close that onto the bale, and then release it, I'll leave that. If I take that over to Mountain View Farm, then EP can use a front loader on that to unload it. So the attachment's on there. That might work. Right, let's strap this on. Hopefully that will hold that in place. Should do. All that attachment, it will come flying off. Who knows? One of those things is likely to happen. Hopefully it won't be the worst case scenario. They're on. They're done. 16 bales. That is rising. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14, 15 bales. I count that wrong. 10, 14, 15 bales, not 16. 15 bales, right. I'll put this over to one side. James, I'll, I'll take it back to James later actually. I'll take it back to uh, Stonehill Farm later on. Let's just put that here for the time being. Let's get these over to Mountain View Farm. I haven't missed any, have I? No. That went better than expected. That's fairly neat for me. Let's hope that attachment doesn't come flying off. And this will all work rather well. Brilliant. Okay. Um, what's the best way to go? I think I'll go this way this time. Beacon's back on again. And we shall take a nice leisurely drive through the countryside, which I have done numerous times now. I'm actually starting to get the hang of this map, which is very, very helpful. Still loving it, still love the views. This is everything about it. I just can't fault it. Actually, I'm glad I bought over the terrace because uh, I think some of the other tractors might struggle to pull this, especially with the hills involved. That was a smart move, leaving that attachment on there. Even for me, that's good thinking. That stay sounds brilliant. wonder if the police will have been by the time we get there. Sure, EP is going out of his mind. That is not a cheap piece of machinery to go missing. Well, that's struggling up here, isn't it? I am right. Yeah, of course, we've got the front loader up here. Um, that's why I moved the bales around on the bale spikes earlier with. So I put this. I suppose I could put it in the barn. It's not really going to matter, is it? Um, what I will do is grab the front loader where I've left that, and let's see whether or not I can get this piece of equipment off. Right, the forks are there. Come on, please tell me. Oh, there is. On the bucket, I was going to say, please tell me something else hasn't been stolen. God, that's all I need. I don't think we've got a weight up here, actually. Is there a weight? I don't think I used one, did I, when I had this? I might have to purchase one. God, I don't want to keep doing that. Singing to myself. Right, let's take that strap off. One there. Uh, take that one off as well, just in case. 
don't want to be caught up. Right. Hopefully, this will work. Didn't help that was. Uh, what's that for? Okay, that's weird. Are we still strapped onto something? Oh, there we go. Fantastic, right. That works in the front loader as well. That's good to know. And it's off anyway. Let's just strap that back on, shall we? Just in case, I'm not sure what we're going to do with that for the moment. The tractor will need to go back to Joe. A little wall hope. Uh, right. I might start unloading these. I'm not going. I'll do that off screen. You, you obviously, after what uh, seemed like an age, putting them on. You don't want to spend the rest of the episode watching me taking them off. That would be horrific. Does this need mucking out? It's a good point while I'm up here. Probably does. There's a little bit in here. Maybe. Right, while I'm here, might as well get that done. And think about a jet wash. Problem is, having six farms, potentially that could be looking at six jet washes, one for each farm. But then the problem you've got is, if you have one centralised one, you've got to then go miles to wash your tractor. I suppose you yeah, you'd just do it with the hose, I guess. So, how does this work? I haven't done this yet. I guess. It's not going to pick up the straw, is it? No. Should just pick that up. Like so. Find some. That should be it. I can probably just drive straight out the other end, but... And the first of our manure will go into the little pit around the side. How very exciting. Never done this before. Mucking out. Cleaned up feed areas, but never had to do this. How cool. Right. I'm just thinking, what do I need now? I've got straw. I've got straw bales, actually. The grass is in there. In the silo over there. I've got silage bales. Oh, hay. I haven't got any hay, have I? I need to make some hay. That'll probably be the next job, then. Hay production. Got some bales. That's good. I must admit, I didn't try... I did say I tried to drop off straw bales at the biogas plant and it wouldn't let me sell them because of the grate over the top. Somebody did message me and say they had sold silage bales at the biogas. Um, don't know how. I, I should really have tried with one, shouldn't I? Hmm. Give that some thought. Right, what to do next? You know what? I've just realised what the time is. What I'm going to do, I will start unloading these, um, but unfortunately, we've come to the end of an episode. That went quick, I suppose, because it took a while to do this, but um, yeah, let's get these unloaded. I'll do that off screen. Um, I do need to do some hay. I'm probably going to do some contracting. will be next on the agenda, I think. Uh, yeah, I could probably do with... Oh, I need to plough, don't I? I need to plough field... What field is it? Uh, field 15, by my farm. The one I did originally. 
uh, with the wheat so that needs to be ploughed out um, so yeah a few jobs to do next um, hopefully we'll find out what happened to the uh, the missing forage harvester but that's a bit of a worry okay so that is the end of this episode another one done episode six next god they're going quick aren't they um, I hope you've enjoyed it if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching